Hey everyone, day 10 of 13 days of Halloween. I'm starting out my mini Moleskine art journal that has a layer of gesso on the pages and I'm going in with a little bit of uh, orange Bombay India ink and then I'm going to spray some water down to get things moving around on my page. And um, once that layer is dry, then I'm going to go in with some, the, some of the Tim Holtz Halloween design tapes and I'm using the spider web design and then um, like a little plaid design that has some orange to bring in that orange from the background. And then I'm going to add um, a layer of clear gesso on top because the design tape, like a lot of uh, washi tapes, has like that plasticky um, texture to it. And I want it to be able to take inks a little bit better. Um, so I'm just going to add the clear gesso. And then I'm going to add some more of that Bombay India ink, the orange, on top. And I'm also going to add some Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolor in Gamboge. Sounds so bougie. Gamboge. <laughs> I crack myself up. Okay, so um, now I'm going to work on my focal image. So I'm stamping this skull by Viva Las Vegas Stamps. And then I'm going to take this clear, ta uh, clear acetate spiderweb design paper from the Tim Holtz Halloween paper pack. And I'm going to die cut a little circle and then outline that in some black stays on ink. And um, I like the to repeat designs like the spiderweb tape and then the spiderweb acetate. I think it helps things come together a little better when you repeat elements like that. And then I'm going to do a little background stamping with some mesh texture uh, stamp which is just a bunch of little dots and then I'm just going to take the script part of this stamp here and stamp that with some watering can archival ink. I'm going to stick my little acetate um, circle down there with some dimensional black tape, add a little bit of string or black thread behind it and then I'm just going to stick my skull down with some regular tape runner. I'm going to try to find some um, stickers from the Tim Holtz clipping, Halloween clippings pack. And I chose the one, uh, a black one that says the silence. And the only reason I chose that one is because I wanted the black. Um, and the other one says life and death. And the one in the bottom says haunted for life. Um, it really didn't matter to me what they said. I just wanted um, some kind of sentiment. And... Um, yeah, and then I'm going to add some of my favorite black splatters, which is black India ink. And that's it. And then I realized that I did the whole page upside down. <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. You know, it's not the first time and I'm sure it won't be the last. <laughs> so um, this was a super quick art journal page, but I really think that it would be a nice design for like a card instead of those sentiment stickers there. Um, you could just stamp um, Happy Halloween or something. I think that would be cute too. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye bye guys.